Today, I'm going to show you my absolute favorite glove knife combos for every color in CS2. Not only am I going to show you combos for the normal everyday colors, but I'll also have some unique ones in there like turquoise and camouflage. I'm going to show off two different combos for every color. One of them I'll make as budget friendly as possible, but the second one will have no restrictions and just be my favorite combo for that color. All prices are based on Price Empire lowest listings at the time of this recording. If I miss any of your favorite color combinations, make sure to leave a comment letting me know what they are. Let's get into it. I'm giving away this Stat Track Factory new Ursus Knife Tiger Tooth when we hit 50,000 subscribers. If you'd like to enter for a chance to win, check out the community post. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. Before I get into it, today's sponsor SkinSwap wants to sponsor you with a free case. SkinSwap is a trustworthy skin trading website where you can buy, trade, and even sell your skins for real money. They offer a variety of different payout methods and they're also always running giveaways. So if you want a free case, a chance at a knife, and a 40% deposit bonus, sign up with my link in the description today. The first color on this list is red, and for the budget-friendly combo, I went with a pair of field-tested Bloodhound gloves charred and a minimal wear paracord knife crimson web. After making countless glove knife combo videos, I've realized that without a doubt, the charred gloves are my favorite budget gloves in the entire game. The vibrant red mesh sticks out amazingly on the muted gray tones of the base of the glove. Interestingly, the shade of red on the crimson web knives matches extremely closely with the red on the gloves. And the reason that I chose the paracord specifically is because of the rope on the handle. It's the exact same shade as the gray base of the glove. And for under $400 total, there's nothing to complain about with this combo. The next red combo on this list is a pair of field-tested specialist gloves crimson kimono and a factory new M9 bayonet ruby. Okay, okay, I know what you're thinking. This combo is way too expensive to afford, and I completely agree. But I couldn't help myself when making this list because the crimson kimonos are without a doubt the best red gloves in the game. And honestly, I think the M9 Bayonet Ruby is probably the best red knife in the game too, so this makes for one of the best combos in the entirety of CS2. When it comes to bright red gloves, it doesn't get any better than the Crimson Kimonos. No other gloves in the entire game come anywhere close to matching them. And everyone knows the bright red color of the Ruby is unmatched as well. Honestly, this combo speaks for itself, and you can tell by that price tag. But no matter how good it looks, I cannot justify spending $13,000, and let's be real, I don't have the money to spend on that anyway, but that doesn't stop me from being able to admire this beautiful combo. The next color on this list is orange, and for the budget combo, I went with a pair of Minimal Wear Sport Gloves Big Game and a factory new Huntsman Knife Tiger Tooth. Unfortunately, there aren't that many orange options when it comes to glove knife combinations in CS2, but I did the absolute most with what we had and made this beautiful combo right here. Inherently, orange is supposed to be a flashy color, and this combo resonates with that. The coolest part about these gloves is that they're pattern based, meaning that there's a plethora of different pattern options with varying amounts of orange. But I didn't pick a particularly orange one for this inspect. That just goes to show how great this combo can look even without a majority orange pair of the gloves. When it comes to orange knives, there aren't that many options, but the tiger tooth is the obvious choice. When making this combo and choosing the knife, I was having a hard time choosing between a smaller or a bigger blade, but then I realized the name of the gloves is literally big game, so it became obvious to me. We had to go with a bigger blade. In the Huntsman knife was the obvious choice because it's a super budget option. Something noteworthy though is that the accent colors of the flip knife blade are actually much more similar to the accent colors of these gloves, so if you want a smaller blade and a closer match when it comes to the accent color of the combination, I would go with the flip knife. But I personally like the way that the Huntsman looks way more. The second orange combo I went with is a pair of minimal wear driver gloves overtake and a factory new stiletto knife tiger tooth. I know I said orange combos are inherently flashy, but that doesn't always have to be the case. So since there aren't too many insane orange combinations, I decided to just go a different route and choose a sleek combo as the second one today. The overtake gloves are a lot less flashy than the big games since there's a lot less going on. The majority of the glove is this dark brown color that looks amazing, and it matches very well with the stiletto knife because of the accent color of the handle. The browns look super great together, and this combo is only around $40 more expensive than the last one. The next color on the list is yellow or gold, and the budget combo I have is Field Tested Moto Gloves Eclipse and Minimal Wear Shadow Daggers Lore. This is a combo I've featured on my channel multiple times and for good reason because there's so many layers to it. As you can see, there's a bright yellow streak on the back of the hand and the reason that I chose the Shadow Daggers Lore to match is because they're the only solid yellow knife in the game. Even though the majority of the combo is made of blues and grays, the yellow is the main focus which is the most important. And the real reason why this is such a cool combo is because when you're inspecting the gloves, as you 
can see, there are a bunch of yellow triangles on the inner palm, which match very nicely with the shape of the shadow daggers. And you get all of this for less than $300. The second yellow combination on the list is a pair of field tested sport gloves Omega and a minimal wear flip knife case hardened gold gem. There are only a handful of yellow gloves in the game, and I would say that the Omegas are somewhat objectively the best looking. Sadly though, there aren't that many yellow knife options to match, so the only real way you can make it work is with a gold gem knife. And to keep this combo somewhat cheap, I decided to go with a flip knife gold gem, but you could realistically use any knife. The pattern I'm showing here is 731, which happens to be the number one flip knife gold gem pattern, but realistically you could use any majority gold case hardened knife, and it's really not that hard to find them at market price. Minimal wear flip knife case hardens only cost around $230 right now, making this entire combo come in at less than $650. And if you have the budget for it, you can make this combo 10 times better just by adding an agent with a gold watch. The next color on this list is green. In the budget green combo I decided to go with is a pair of minimal wear driver gloves racing green and a minimal wear huntsman knife lore. Alright, you might be thinking to yourself, who in their right mind would choose a pair of driver gloves racing green as a budget pair of gloves when hydra gloves emeralds exist? And you know what, you might be right, but the reason that I chose these today is because these things look so good with lore knives in my opinion. The green handle of the lore knives matches very closely with the gloves, and something that makes this combo way better is just simply using the FBI SWAT operator agent skin. I know this isn't a glove knife agent combo video, but I just had to throw that out there because it's a super cheap option and it makes this combo way, way better. And for the green combo with no restrictions, I chose one of my favorite combos in the entire game. A pair of minimal wear moto gloves turtle and a factory new gut knife emerald. Again, you might be thinking, what is this guy doing? Why would you ever pair an emerald knife with these gloves when other emeralds emerald gloves exist. And to be honest, I would say the exact opposite. Why would you ever pair an emerald knife with any other gloves than these? These are the only green gloves in the game that match in shade anywhere near the emerald color. For example, emerald webs or racing greens are such a different color green that it makes it look so gross. And I'm honestly glad that people like those gloves more because it makes this combo all the more cheaper. You can get this insanely high tier combination for less than $1,000. The next color on this list is blue. There are a lot of different shades of blue that exist, but we're going to have a teal and turquoise section later, so for now we're just going to stick with the standard blue color that you think of when you think of the color blue, like a darkish blue color. The first combo in this section is a pair of field tested moto gloves polygon and a pair of factory new shadow daggers doppler phase 4. Like I said before, there are a lot of different shades of blue, but the reason that I chose the polygons other than the fact that they're quite cheap is that the color that you see when you look at polygons is the exact same blue color that I am imagine when I think of the color blue. And this is also true for the Doppler Phase 4. Obviously, we're going with a budget combo here, so I wasn't going to pick a sapphire, but I honestly think the Phase 4 Shadow Daggers are better than the sapphires because of the accent color on the handles. Overall, if you're a fan of the color blue, this is an insanely good vibrant blue color combination that you can get for less than $400. The second blue combination that I chose is a pair of field tested hand wraps Cobalt Skulls in a factory new Huntsman Knife Sapphire. In my opinion, the Cobalt Skulls gloves are the the only gloves in the game that pull off the common blue color better than the polygons. And what better knife to pair it with than a sapphire? Obviously, we all know the Huntsman knife isn't the best knife in the game, but for the price, you can't go wrong, and I tried to keep it at least a little bit budget for you guys. That being said though, I still am quite a big fan of the Huntsman knife, and I think it's criminally underrated overall. But the fact that you can get such a radiant blue combo as this for less than $1700 is honestly quite surprising. The next color on this list is purple. For the budget combination, I went with a pair of field tested driver gloves imperial plaids and a factory new huntsman knife freehand. I don't know if you've noticed yet, but there's a lot of huntsman knife coverage on this list. And the reason is because I think it's a super great knife with a very clean black handle that works in a lot of scenarios. And that reigns true here with the imperial plaids. I knew from the start that I'd be picking these gloves for the budget purple pair, but I didn't know what knife I'd be choosing. There aren't that many purple options when it comes to knife blades to match, but the freehand turned out to be the best option. The freehand is a pattern based skin 
some of which have a lot more purple than others, so if you're going to pick this combo up, I suggest trying to find one of those. Next up, we have a pair of Field Tested Sports Gloves Pandora's Box and a factory new M9 Bayonet Black Pearl. All right, let's be real. Did you really think I was going to pick any other pair of gloves than the best gloves in the entire game? Everyone and their mother loves the Pandora's Boxes, and there's no better knife to pair it with than a Black Pearl. With no restrictions, I could have paired it with anything, whether it be a butterfly knife, a karambit, or even a normal bayonet, but there's no better knife in the game to do it with than an M9. I don't know if you guys are as much of a fan of this combination as me, but I don't think it gets much better than this anywhere else in the entire game. This is the definition of an endgame combo, but similarly to the ruby combo at the start, I cannot justify this $15,000 price tag. The next color on this list is pink. Alright guys, bear with me here and don't tear me down in the comments. I played around with a bunch of different possible pink combinations, but there's really just one pair of gloves in the entire game that actually have pink on them, and those are the vice gloves. So this is actually going to be the only color on the list that we don't have multiple combinations. With that being said, the best pink combination in the game in my opinion is a pair of field tested sports gloves vice and a factory new flip knife doppler phase 2. As I said, there's really only one glove in the game with the pink color on it, and that's the vice gloves. And when it comes to pink blades on knives, obviously phase 2 is the best option. So it really just came down to picking what knife to match with these gloves. And in the end, I went with the flip knife because the gray handle color matches quite well with the gray on the gloves. If you're a fan of combos that stick out, this is the perfect one for you, but it definitely will cost a pretty penny at just over $1,500. I'm giving away this factory new MP7 Empire. To enter, like this video, subscribe to the channel, comment whatever you want, and leave your Steam trade link in your YouTube bio so I can send you the skin when you win. Let's get back to the video. The next color on this list is teal or turquoise. In the first combo I chose is more of a teal one with a pair of field tested driver gloves lunar weaves and a minimal wear classic knife night stripe. Whenever I think of teal in CS2, my mind immediately goes to the lunar weaves. And there's no better knife finish to pair with them than a night stripe as it has the exact same teal color. The only reason I chose the classic knife here is because I wanted some more knife coverage on this list. But you can get this extremely nice two tone combo for under $300. Next, I went with a more turquoise combo with a pair of field tested moto glove spearmints and a factory new flip knife gamma doppler phase 2. Honestly, there are a few good options when it comes to turquoise gloves in CS2, including these and the overprints, but I decided to go with the spearmints because there are no restrictions on what I could choose. These are quite expensive for what they are, but they do look amazing paired with a gamma doppler phase 2. I'm realizing now that the lighting on this map doesn't do it justice, but on other maps, the turquoise colors of these two skins look the exact exact same. You can take my word for it, or you could go check them out for yourself. Unfortunately though, this combo does come in at around $3,000 total, which is absolutely bonkers. The next color on this list is brown, and for the budget combo, I went with a pair of field tested Hydra Gloves Mangroves and a minimal wear paracord knife safari mesh. I have featured this combination on my channel before, but that's for good reason. It looks great and it's super cheap. To be honest, this shade of beige isn't the first thing that comes to my mind when I think of brown, but I think it does still count. It's honestly surprising that such a cheap knife finish can look so good in a combination. And you can get your hands on this combo for less than $150, making this the cheapest option on the list. For the second brown combination, I went with a pair of field tested hand wraps leather and a well worn talon knife rust coat. Talon knives and hand wraps are a match made in heaven. The undergarments of the gauze match extremely well with the handle of the talon knife, making it work well in almost every scenario. But that white accent match isn't what we're here for. That's just an addition. The real reason we're here is for that beautiful brown match between the leather and the rust. I know this combination isn't meant to look high tier at all, but it's one of my favorites on the entire list, and you can pick this up for under $500. The next color on this list is gray or silver. The first combination I went with is more of a gray one with a pair of field tested moto gloves smoke out and a minimal wear kukri knife urban masked. I'm not usually a big fan of these muted tones, and I'm more of a flashy color guy, but this combination does look amazing. And the beauty of the Urban Masked finish is that it's pattern based, so you can have a lot of color variation on the blade. And what I like about the Smoke Out gloves is that the light gray bleeds into the darker grays, making it a seamless gray color combination throughout. You can get your hands on this combination for just over $300. Next up, I went with a bit of a more silver combination with a pair of field tested specialist gloves foundation and a 
factory new gut knife Damascus steel. Foundation gloves are criminally underrated. I see so much hate for them online and I have no idea why. I absolutely love that the oranges pop on that silver background and I especially love that text pattern on the back of the gloves. It reminds me of a Hypebeast clothing brand and I decided to pair the gut knife specifically with these because the orange handle matches very closely with the orange on the gloves. This is one of my favorite combos in the entire game and one that I have been a fan of for a while and you can pick this up for yourself for under $400. The next color on this list is Camouflage. Well, I don't really know if it's one color or a group of colors, but you know what I mean. And the budget combo that I went with is a pair of Minimal Wear Specialist Gloves Forest DD Pat and a Minimal Wear Stiletto Knife Forest DD Pat as well. There are very few camouflage skins that actually look good, but these two are made for each other. It's hard to articulate exactly what's going on since there are so many colors working well together, but it just looks good to the eye. This combination will cost you just over $350. Next up, we have a pair of Minimal Wear Hand Wraps Arboreal with a Minimal Wear Butterfly Knife Boreal Forest. This combo is a bit higher tier than the last, with the knife really standing out. Like I said, it's hard to articulate exactly what's happening on camouflage, but the main difference between this combination and the last one is the brightness. If you're a fan of brighter and flashier combos, this one is a bit better than the last. That being said, you can't really get that flashy when it comes to camo. If you like this combo though, it can be yours for just under $800. The next color on this list is black, and the first combo I went with is a pair of field tested sport gloves Noct and a minimal wear paracord knife Scorched. Without a doubt, Noct are the most black pair of gloves in the entire game, and that is also true for the Scorched finish. Like a lot of the other skins on this list, the Scorched finish is also pattern based, so you can find different skins with varying amounts of black. And for this combo, I specifically chose the paracord knife because of the way that the rope around it looks. It adds to the dark, mysterious vibe. Unfortunately, there aren't that many black gloves in the game, so for the second combination, I just switched up the knife. So for the second combo, I went with a minimal wear stiletto knife scorched. As you probably know, the stiletto knife has the smallest blade in the game, which allows for a max black pattern. This means that these gloves with this knife is currently the darkest possible combination you can get in CS2. While the max black pattern would cost you a lot of overpay, you can find things very similar in color for market price. This combination will cost you just under $650. The final color on this list is white, and for the budget combo I went with a pair of Minimal Wear Driver Gloves Black Tie and Minimal Wear Shadow Daggers Black Laminate. At first glance, you might be thinking to yourself, whoa, that combo has a lot of black on it, but the beauty of this combo is, when you inspect the shadow daggers, you can see the white inner palm of the gloves, making for quite a white combo. And just remember, you can always add a white agent to make for an even more white combination. The final combination of this entire video, and one of my absolute favorites on the entire list, is a pair of Minimal Wear Driver Glove Snow Leopards and a Minimal Wear Stiletto Knife Urban Masked White Gem. The Stiletto Knife Urban Masked is very similar to the Stiletto Knife Scorched in that the blade is the smallest in the game, which allows for a max black or max white pattern. And also similarly to the Scorched, the max white pattern would run you a lot of extra money, but you can find a very similar one for market price. And when you find one to your liking, it produces this beautiful all white effect. This paired with the Snow Leopards looks amazing, and it's like no other combo in the entire game. Though there is a little bit of a price tag on this one, and even at market price, this combo would still cost you around $1,100. Alright boys, that's it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what type of combo videos you'd like to see next or what type of videos at all. Also, if you'd like to join the Discord server for extra skin giveaways, the link to that is in the description below. I'll catch you in the next one. If you enjoyed this video, YouTube thinks you'll like this one too. Oh yeah, and YouTube told me 75% of you aren't subscribed yet, so go thumb wrestle that subscribe button down below.